Hey everyone, welcome back to another Summoner's War Guild Battle. So today, before we begin, I would just like to talk about the update patches and the monsters that I'll be testing out. It's mainly the Chow Bison and also the Geo. Of course, my Chow has like kind of shit runes. <laughs> you can see the stats is just on like Violent Nemesis. Uh, not the greatest of the sets. And this one is on Double Revenge Will. Alright, the reason why I put double revenge is because of the provoke into his attack. I think it actually destroys a lot this time. So we'll take a look into the Water Bison thoroughly later on in the guild battle. And however, Geo, I just fit in one of my best violence sets on it. And it has a rather low accuracy, so 39% plus another 17% on the skill 2 which is essentially 56% I think <laughs> according to my maths so yeah I really can't wait to try out those units but before we begin do you know that you can get the 7 year global special packs for up to 35% less worldwide with App Gallery the new Android app store launched by Huawei has the best prices for Summoner's War players You'll also get a rebate of at least 20% in Huawei points which goes up to 35% if you buy a lot of packs and want to join their VIP program for free. One Huawei point is worth one of whichever currency you use to make the purchase. So if you buy a 100 euro pack, you get 25 euros rebate to spend on any in-game purchases. To participate in this campaign, please make sure to follow the steps in the Summoners War Discord server in the description down below which I'll be providing. Ensure that you set your country in the app gallery settings to the UK, Ireland or New Zealand to participate. It works wherever you're based, alright? So personally, I recommend New Zealand as it has the best currency price for the value. If you have any questions or just want to flex your summons, please do drop a message in the Summoners War channels or to the channel admin itself. If you purchase a lot of packs in Summoners War also, Message the admin for bonus rewards and an invite to get an extra VIP rebate. So now, let's head over to our guild battle. We'll be hitting this guild today and we'll be doing the plus one, plus two, and plus three. So, uh, yep. Uh, maybe we do this guy. And we'll be playing the new toys as well, which got buff. Which is the Water Bison, Chow, and also Geo, the Wind of Nuji. So let's see whether we can actually place her in here. Uh, I'm just gonna remove all these units and what can we run? So something like Geo Skogol and a water tank? Does it really matter though? Because there's Skogol there on the opponent's side. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll just test it out. I need to find my Skogol. I guess it's this one. Yep. And another one that complements well here. Mm. We need some big damage dealer in the form of a... Honestly, I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe we can just run a healer. Yeah, I think we do need a healer against this kind of team. So something like Aladro. Seems alright. We place the Geo second skill always onto the Triana. Or we can also just run a fire damage dealer. Kakano, Kakano would be nice. We can speed the the runs on this fight. However, the bottom one can we actually use Water Bison here? Water Bison will be able to tank up the Tyrannus damage. We need an immunity user in the form of a hmm. Is friend good here? Two turns immunity. Might be good, might be good. And for the last one, I feel like we need an AoE Armor Breaker. We can try Annabelle. So we have cleanse for the Verite if we don't get frozen up. Yeah, let's pray, let's pray. Let's see whether this actually works. Our first time using all these new buffs as well on these monsters. Oh, I actually forgot to place in Chao. So we'll probably do him next, alright? Okay. For this one, I feel like we just place the Karma onto the Skogul. However, the Triana will be probably cleansing it away. Yeah. So we go for the hidden aim. Mm -hmm. We throw our rock up. 
The problem is, right, we do not have heals. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be so intense. Hopefully we can kill them in time. Very tanky, very tanky Triana react there. Um, Elajol didn't use any skills, so our suppressor skill didn't come in handy there. Okay, nice. Can we get another rock up? Oh shit. Don't proc, please. Can we kill off this Triana with a normal attack? Ah, so close! I feel like we need to actually... I feel like actually hitting the... Ella drill. However, we didn't crit. Hopefully, we get to proc the passive of the Triana. Didn't get it though. Both at the last hit. Holy shit. Can we kill off this unit? Come on. <laughs> Not enough. Okay, we have to do this here. So, we throw another rock up. We place the karma here. Doesn't really matter, right? So we just finished off the Eladrill. However, I feel like... Oh, we win. Okay. <laughs> I thought I would lose my Kakano, but we are fine. Yet again, she didn't do much in that lineup, so hopefully we can bring her into the next fight as well. For this one, we are seeing the Virat, Perna, and Tauranis. I'm gonna place the Fairy's Blessing. Yeah. And can we armor break this Verat? We didn't get it. Okay, what's it got it, Angel? Only lands the armor break onto the Verat. That's not too good. Look at that huge chunk of destroy. Holy shit. I am actually impressed. <laughs> wow. Already down to the last hit? <laughs> It's actually really nice, you know? I'm gonna cleanse. And I guess we just kill off the Virat. Make him revive back. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Okay, we go for the Provoke. Perfect. Look at that HP, man. Hey, the Bison is really good. Even though he's not hitting too hard. But you get to see like the amount of destroy he does. Huh. Boom! Almost a quarter of the life! <laughs> uh, I'm taking all my negative feedback onto the Water Bison uh, prior to this fight. Uh, whatever I said in the balance patch, <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> this team is gonna be super strong against Tessarion, Molly, all those kind of stalled defense, alright? Look at that Perna. He doesn't have health. Negative health right there. <laughs> I want to see if we hit the Taranis right now. Boom. Okay, just a little bit here. However, I guess uh, the next attack we should be doing quite a lot. So let's see. Yeah. Wow. I'm really impressed with the, with the Bison. Stall defense is gonna be shit on by this unit alone. And one thing to take note, right, guys? Whenever the HP is destroyed, the more HP destroyed, the less damage they actually do to your team. So we can see, right? Um, if let's say the Tyranis uses the wall blow, no damage, but of course there's like armor break. However, it's like neutralized with the defense buff as well. But yet again, no damage. <laughs> wow, I'm loving it. I'm loving this unit. So good, so good, so good. I am actually contemplating to put Devilmons on this. Yep. Annabelle stealing the show at the end with all those sleeps. <laughs> so yeah, we got our first win. However, Geo still doesn't really um, surprise me yet. So hopefully we can find a good team for her. Oh my god, this is like a farming guild. Ah, oh, no wonder everybody hitting all these towers. Huh, this one... I guess we can bring the bison up here. For the bottom one... Actually, I don't think we can bring in Geo. Unless we have a stripper for her. So, maybe we run... 
Honestly, we can do whatever we want, right? So we can just place... Might as well replace Chow here. <laughs> yeah, we just do this team at the top. For the bottom one... Geo though, how to play Geo in this lineup? We need a stripper in the form of... Wataryu. We'll see whether the nerf actually impacts him big enough. Uh, because now it's 20%, right? So, and we need a fire damage dealer. I guess we can just run a Kaki for damage. Yeah. Hmm. I guess it's fine. Let's try, let's try. For the top one, as long as my Skogo don't die, we should definitely see that one true. However, Chow and Bison is just there to tank up like the fingers damage. So we got armor broken, that's not too good. I'm gonna do it on to the Veladrol. So yeah, we actually uh, cleanse the armor break at the start of the turn. So Chow is looking actually pretty useful for, for the first time. <laughs> Compared to all his Dragonite's counterpart, right? I think he can be used, but I wouldn't suggest you to bring Chow into things like Savannah. I mean, Siege is still gonna be hard, don't get me wrong. Um, because we are seeing Savannah a lot in the past four seasons, I feel like nobody will be able to bring her down. She does her job so well. <laughs> and it's only when you're fighting like tier 2 defenses so yeah, you can see, look at the Kamila's HP. We didn't really do too much damage, and it's really like more than half of the life. Wow. And yes, Kogo just cleaned the field. <laughs> so this one, I think we are just gonna place the Suppress Karma, Karma onto the Luis. And then we'll probably work on to the Mage. I want to hold on to our skills. Can we just armor break? Oh man, come on. Oh, we only got the armor break at the end. So the additional prop. No damage from that mage itself. So I feel like we can place the karma this time onto this unit. Hmm. Okay, we'll go for the strip. Can we armor break? Oh, easy clap. Ah, <laughs> uh, we didn't really get to see Geo shine again. Apart from like that one time karma, which actually reduced like one quarter of the HP because of the shield. <laughs> so yeah, we're not doing too much with the Geo. Geo is just there to fill in the slot so far. Hmm, I don't know how to actually pair this unit, honestly. Okay, so you just do the karma for fun. Yeah, yet again, goes through resistance check and like, accuracy. But yeah, doesn't really matter, right? We already won this one. So let's just bring it down. Kaki will finish off that unit. And let's see whether there's any interesting plus 3 defense. Okay. So one thing I really like here. I guess we can play Geo on the second team. Because they do have good skills that they will always use. Like Trick of Wind into the Manitate. We can actually try to place the Karma onto the Retash. And we are also very good to tank up against that Rakan. However, if Tianlang armor breaks our units, we might be in trouble. So running Resistance Leader here should be good. Uh, for the first team, yeah, I want to play the Bison once again. We'll probably bring Chao bottom. <laughs> and... What else can we run? Hmm. Mm hmm. Let me see, yeah? I think Ikaris can be a pretty nice combination together. I don't know why Chow is here, but yeah, we'll just place him. <laughs> For the top one, Bison. Alright. What else can we do? So, we already got one water unit. Can we run a Fingyan for armor breaks? Yeah, I think Fingyan can be good. So we got defense leader as well. 
we'll try to work on to this unit, the Ophelia first. And then, I guess we can just bring in a big damage nuker in the form of Perna. Yep, let's just try. I think we should definitely win the first one. But I really like Water Bison's passive right now. Wow. I didn't expect it to be so huge. <laughs> because from reading the patch itself, it didn't seem like it would do too much. Like the passive destroy. So yeah, can we actually nuke down this unit? Oh, I quite tanky though. Oh, look at that counter, man. Taking one chunk away of the health. <laughs> ah, so good. Look at that. Sick. <laughs> and from here, okay, we'll just place the buff. Bobert doesn't heal for much. And we'll just try to finish off this monkey. Yeah, good counter. Boom. Armor break. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> I can't get over the the amount of damage uh, removed from the destroy passive. And yeah, I really take my words back on how I felt like it could be still shit <laughs> when I was reading the balance patch. This definitely caught me off guard. Yeah, I'll try to form better combinations for the Water Bison. However, for Geo, I feel like I'm thinking along the likes of Harmonia, Molong, Geo in the future if we are gonna be able to use it in Siege we'll see about that as well because I think it's still very hard to bring Geo against things like Kakano, Savannah those kind of units are just too strong for Geo to handle yeah so Geo got stunned up that's pretty unfortunate <laughs> And we took full armor bricks. However, Chow cleansing that. Hmm. Oh my god, something's gonna die though. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess. Um, Geo is still like me. Eh. But against tier 2 siege defense, things like Kumun Vigor X. Uh, apart from non Kakano Savannah, I think she can be used up. We'll see about that, right? I'll, I'll try to bring Geo into the next Siege offense if I'll be able to use it. And yep, there goes the Geo showcase. <laughs> We're just gonna leave this one. I don't think this two unit actually kills because whenever um, they move, they're just gonna kill off my Ikares, left the Chao alone, Chao can't tank up these 3 units, we're just gonna waste the time. And I really do appreciate everybody for watching this one, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video as well. And please remember to download Summoner's War on Huawei App Gallery to enjoy the benefits. And I'll catch you guys soon, alright? Take care, stay safe, peace out.